Bob Ross, a craft icon. Bob Ross, frankly, is a legend. You know, he's relaxed millions of people with his painting tutorials. And today I thought it'd be fun to follow one of his painting tutorials, but recreate it in Photoshop instead. We're going to do some digital crafts today. Now, I'm not a graphic designer. I don't know what the f I don't I don't know what how to do this on Photoshop. So this is going to be a learning experience for everyone involved. If you don't know who the fuck Bob Ross is, then, you know, what's your problem? Do yourself a favor, look him up, watch a video or two. You'll get the idea. He does painting tutorials and he's incredible. He's a very talented artist. He's a chiller. He's a great A chiller. He really is. He's just soft spoken. Let's get crazy. You know me. If you've painted with me before, I like big trees. He barely even speaks. You gotta like, that's how you know he's in control is when he, and all you gotta do is paint some mountains right here. And everyone's like, well, what's he saying? I don't know, but it's dope. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's got a million episodes and I searched Bob Ross cactus because I like cactuses. I wanted to go for a desert vibe. You know, he paints all sorts of landscapes. I'm talking mountains. I'm talking lakes. I'm talking beaches. I'm talking forests. You name it, he paints it. Today, I want to go desert. I'm feeling dry today <laughs> and thirsty. And so we found this one, Desert Glow. Also, I chose this one because look at the thumbnail, dude. He's holding a bird. He's just holding a bird and it's got to be some cool ass bird because if you have to wear a glove to hold a bird, it's got to be a bird with some talons on it. That means it could physically harm you, which is a very, very dope thing to do. Holding a bird with sharp talons. Look at this. Some sort of, you know, I, I, what am I going to, what, what would you guess that bird is? The, um, I don't know, underbellied hawk pigeon probably or something cool like that. The swallow headed budgie hawk probably. I don't know, let's see. Welcome back. I have my little friend Falky here again today. His little friend Falky. How does he just have this bird in the studio? It's a falcon? It's just, it, he's just, oh yeah, I thought I'd bring back Falky, my little friend. I'm friends with a goddamn falcon. Let's see if he'll eat a little something. There you go. See, we give him a little bit of beef heart. What are the birds that you see? What do they eat? A little bird seed? A little, uh, little boring little bird seed? Chip, 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 chip. Let me get some of that bird seed. Not Falky. Bird seed? No. He's a carnivore. He eats beef heart. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna open up Photoshop here. Oh, it's already open. We are working on the thumbnail for my last video, which is fucking incredible, by the way. <laughs> no more penis boy! <laughs> You can tell I spent a lot of time on this one. How big should we make this? Try to make it huge so we could blow it up and I could like give it to Kelsey for her birthday or something like that. I could blow it up like, he like the size of our wall in our living room and throw it up. That's a good idea. Okay, 18 by 24, let's do that. Yeah, F it, perfect. Okay, so we have a blank canvas here. Let's see what the Ross Meister's got in store for us. Let's start out today. Maybe we'll just have a happy little scene. Something that gives a feeling of, of desert. Yeah, and dryness and thirst. And we'll just drop in some yellow color right along there. Look at that flick of the wrist, dude. He just, he just has it. He has it. Oh. Something like that. And without cleaning the brush, I'm gonna go right into a little yellow ochre. All right, so we start with yellow. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, I downloaded a whole bunch of brushes. They're watercolor brushes, because I think that'll have the same vibe. It's a little bit orangey. It's like that. It's like that. Okay, look, I'm just gonna flick it like he does. Oh! Look at the flick of the wrist. Look at the flick of the wrist. See, his is like way nicer blended. I don't really know how to do that. Oh, this looks like shit already. This looks like fucking shit already. Sorry, I'm not supposed to be angry. This is supposed to be calming. Okay, whatever. That's kind of a good start, I guess. It's sort of a golden color. Very nice, beautiful little color. I think you'll like that one. I, I do like that one, Bob. I like that one a lot. Let's find that golden color. Kind of like a murky sort of brown. Kind of like that. That's kind of golden, right? Wow, I'm already getting desert vibes from this. I feel myself drying up. Oh, yes. Mm. Flick of the wrist. Flick of the wrist. I'm gonna go into a small amount of alizarin crimson. Doesn't take much, just a little. And we'll go right up above that and just drop in a little crimson. Okay, now we're dropping down a little crimson. Oh, now we're getting into crimson territory right there. Just a little bit of crimson. 
Here, let's change the transparency of this whole layer a little bit just to kind of match his softness. Oh wow, that's working really well. Okay, whatever, that's pretty good. I'll go with that. Oh, he goes all the way to the damn top. Just go all the way to the top. Oh, beautiful. It's turning me on, honestly, this gradient. Let's take some crimson, crimson, and a little bit of the phthalo blue. Crimson and phthalo blue? Where does he get these colors? How does he know all these? Do you think like a musician has perfect pitch and Bob Ross has just knows exactly what the name of every single color is? Like, he, But he's got a cool name for every single one. Oh wow, I see you've picked out a snow leopard off-white there. Beautiful color. Okay, let's go back up in here. And maybe our horizon's gonna be right below center here. We'll take a little of that lavender color and just sort of lift it in one direction like that. Just going right on along, something like it. Wow, okay, this is gonna be a trick. Okay, let's, oh, what is this color, dude? It's kind of like that. Okay, so now we're doing the horizon and it's kind of like a left, kind of like, whew. he's kind of just flicking the wrist a little bit. Just, mm, 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 mm. Oh, I'm feeling this, oh yeah. He said, let's just clean that shit up down here. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really much matter. Ooh. All right, I think, uh, honestly, all things considered, this is actually looking surprisingly good to me right now. Let me wash my old brush. That's the fun part. That's the fun part. Shake off the excess. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. <laughs> Bob, you... <laughs> You bad bitch. That's not his first time doing that. That was his little bit like, you know, nobody is this chill. Sometimes you just gotta smack the brush on the thing. Sometimes you gotta just do that, you know? Just beat the devil out of it. I love this guy. So we're gonna make a stroke that's, I'm exaggerating. Let me really exaggerate. It looks like that, only smaller and not quite as much angle. All right. <laughs> okay, this is where it's gonna start to get hard and probably shitty for me. So I'm gonna pick a thinner brush like this, and I'm gonna go a little bit, he's got a deep purple. That's a deep purple. That's a deep purple. And we're just gonna flick it like he does. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Maybe we just got some big old motherfucking cumulonimbus clouds up here. Okay, do those look like clouds? <laughs> Not really, it kinda just looks like I painted some shit over some other shit. But let's keep going, I think this will come together in the end. Just sort of let your imagination take you wherever you wanna go. Enjoy. Painting should make you happy. If it does nothing else, it should make you happy. I know that's true for you, because you're a wizard with the brush, but all I feel right now is stress and disappointment in myself. Although, this one turned out weirdly good right there. You can't tell me that's not exactly like his. Why do these still look so shitty? Whatever. Another thing that painting will do. It'll make you see and appreciate nature every day, every single day. <laughs> this guy is so positive and chill. How could you not be happy when you're doing this? Even if it looks like shit, it's like, I wanna hear everything he has to say. That easy. That sort of has the same vibe, honestly. Let's wash that one. I just like to wash brushes. We use odorous thinner, odorous paint thinner. We use odorous paint thinner. And we just, <gasps> we just inhale it like that. And then if you just hold your breath, you'll get a really sick high. What if he's just, maybe he's on mushrooms for every single one of these. I wouldn't be surprised if Bob Ross dabbled in the uh, psychedelics. Shake off the excess <laughs> and cover the whole room. And that's really a nice way to redecorate your whole house. You can do it in about a heartbeat if you, if you beat the brush like that in your living room. <laughs> he's got jokes. I love this man. Maybe just a little mountain that lives there. I'll just use the corner of the fan brush. Oh my God, is that gorgeous. Did he just come? <laughs> oh my God, is that gorgeous. I wish I liked anything as much as he likes painting. This is a lot of pressure. All right, so he's got, we need a harder brush. This one looks like maybe what we need. You know what? I'm gonna turn the opacity up to 100 for this. You know what? That actually doesn't look that actually doesn't look half bad. That actually doesn't look half bad. My strokes aren't as dope as his. My stroke, my stroke game isn't as good as his. Nobody has Bob Ross stroke game. Let's be, let's be serious here for a second. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I kind of went with a, a gray at the bottom. He's got more of like a poop brown. His looks better, obviously. The gray kind of looks like um, when you just mix all the colors on a paint thing together and just paint with that. That's what it looks like. Like I'm four years old but let's keep going. 
I don't know, maybe we got a big old stone lives right there and just begin with a basic shape. Okay, now it looks like we're, we're, we're painting a big ass boulder here. I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah, sort of like that color, there we go. No, 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 no. How does he do it? This looks like shit. And the paint breaks. In other words, it has all those little holes there, little openings. How am I gonna do this? I don't have the right brushes for this. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I might, I might have just salvaged this painting. Let's go even smaller here, and then just, oh, oh my God. I think I just came. Look at that. <laughs> It looks like shit, but it looks better. I'm just freestyling right now. I'm freestyling. I feel like I'm back in art class in high school. That's not a hat. That's that. Come, you can't look me in the eye and tell me that doesn't look like a big ass rock. That's a goddamn cliff. Maybe there's an old gnarly bush that lives there. An old gnarly bush. That's what you are, Bob Ross, in the best way. You're an old gnarly bush. <laughs> I'm not doing the bush. I like the way that, no, I gotta do the bush. Can't half-ass this. There's the bush, there's my bush. I always choke right at the end, you know? Can't handle the pressure. And this bush was my breaking point. I'm gonna take the, the sticky back paper here off. Let's see what we have. This, this is what they call the moment of truth right here. All right, how do we get it so that it's just a circle? Oh, it's gotta be the opposite of that, right? Okay, moment of truth, folks. We're gonna do the same thing. We're going to... Holy shit. Okay, aside... Aside from the bush? I'm pretty fucking impressed with this. But you're probably thinking right now, Cody, didn't you search Bob Ross cactus? Where doth be the cactus? Where doth be the cacti? And that, that, well, Bob Ross has a little something special for us coming up. And then if you wanna get crazy, hmm. I do wanna get crazy, Bob. Maybe there's a little cactus living out here. Look at that. The cactus is outside the circle like a f effing madman. I'm scared. I'm legitimately scared. Okay, let's maybe, let's make the canvas size just a wee bit bigger. Let's do this cactus. Now, this is the moment of truth. This is where this either becomes an incredible project for me or this becomes a complete disaster. It all comes down to the cactus. Pressure's on. Let's get some like real intense music right now, James. Let's do it. Okay, ready? I have my little friend Falky here. Beef heart. And I'll do it, you know, frictionless, frictionless, frictionless. And, ready for the big reveal? Boom. I fucked up the cactus. Damn it. That was the only thing I wanted to nail and it didn't happen. I still, still looks Kind of cool though. That would make a good like iPhone background or something, wouldn't it? I don't know. Let's see what Kelsey thinks. Kelsey, what? do you want to come see my painting? Sorry, she's doing yoga or whatever. The... I'm doing craft yoga. She's doing real yoga. All right, wait, wait. Close your eyes. What do you think? I mean, it's not as good as his. What but the hell? You actually good. did that? Yeah, I painted that. That's beautiful. I think I killed it. Let's see what he says to wrap it all up. So I say, hope you give this one a try. You'll enjoy it. And from all of us here, I'd like to wish you. Happy painting, and God bless, my friend. I love this guy. I'm not being sarcastic. He's incredible. He's a very great man. He's kind of like the John Quinones of painting, truly. And I, I pronounced his name right there, it's close to right. Okay, anyways, um, you know, if you followed along with me, then uh, I want to see how yours looks, or if you're watching this and you say you're going to recreate it, then, I then send me yours. And if you like this, let me know. Maybe I'll do this more in the future. And um, stay crafty my friends. See you next time. Bye.